Hello and welcome to Waken Jake. It's the midweek, which for now, I think it's tier list season where we rank your favorite baseball players with King Biebs and Jolly Olive. And in the middle, when we're feeling overwhelmed with our list, we'll talk Jorge Polanco trade and Justin Turner signing for five minutes on the clock. Jolly, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. It's, uh, we're uh, recording this ahead of time because yeah. uh, the, the grind never stops. I'm feeling good. It's a little end of the day up, which I'm not used to. I don't usually pot at the end of the day. I pot right. at the beginning of my day. So I'm, I'm going to be a different animal, I think. We're doing the catchers, the catcher position. It's unique. Again, there might be a couple team logos on there. Want to highlight a lot of individuals, hopefully the high-end guys, and it'll make you appreciate them a little more. Mm. Uh, if you hear us picking up steam, it's because Joe's McFly just Broke our souls a little bit for the last half hour. Uh, but now we are in the lab. Mm. It's official. And every tier list starts with a tier reveal. Uh, where we start with this list and where we hope to finish. S tier. Which I'm, I'm told I'm not even supposed to call it S tier. It's the S tier tier. The S tier tier. So writing tier is mocking myself. That's like an old reveal. Yeah. Okay. You don't just put S, you put S tier. S tier tier. Yeah, we put S tier. Tier tier. The second category is my catcher. If you've ever mixed it up on social media, this is the group of catchers who are really good. Mm. And if you watch your team for 150 games a year, you fall in love with your catcher because they're really good, and you will scratch tooth and nail. Is that a phrase? I like that. To argue about your catcher. The and tier. I, I want to specify, we all have we have different definitions of this too. Sure. On my screen right now I have it as starting Twitter beef for you. Right. Beep said something else, but like we'll 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 come to a consensus. I have fighting in the IG comments. Because right. I think that's yeah. as ugly as it can get. That's your mm-hmm. domain. You that's know? as ugly as it can you get. You live there. Uh below that, put set it and forget it. Just mm. like, hey, you're our starting short shortstop. You're our starting catcher. We're rolling you out there. We like you. Uh, but these other guys probably have an argument over there. Liked saying set it and forget it. Not sure I love it. We'll come back to okay. it. Uh, Jolly, this one was you. Hey, thanks. Is that MF or real? We're going to find out this year. 2024, big year for anyone that falls in this row. Maybe they showed it a little bit last year. Maybe they were a rookie last year, top prospect. Are they real? Let's find out. Is that MF or back there real? Good clip. Mm. Tiffany Gomas. Give her name some love. No, you knew her name off yeah, the hip like Yeah, I'm that. a fan. It's crazy. Man. Uh, the next category is Daydream About Gary Sanchez. Tough. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how that category sorts out. Uh, Gary Sanchez always has appeal because he's got instant pop in his bat. Mm. Plug and play in the middle of the Padres lineup for a little bit last year. While also becoming the personal catcher of Blake Snell. So maybe he can. But, you know, Blake Snell is known for his control. Oh. Gary was able to handle that. And he was the starting catcher for the... He was the starting catcher for the Dominican Republic. Already you're starting the Gary And the WBC. Met legend, by the way. Still unsigned, right? Still unsigned. By the time this comes out, maybe we'll figure out Gary's team along the way. Fun. The last category we have for now is, hey, give us this one thing. There's a lot of catchers out there that aren't asked for Mm. to do much. Um, You know, whether it's defense only, whether it's like vibes. Like, I think I saw our guy Austin Hedges picture on here. I mean, that guy. He fits in that too. Catch the ball and be a cool guy. And he's great at it. Mm. So, uh, we'll see how that sorts out. Per usual, we like to start in the middle. That's usually easier than starting at the top or the bottom. Uh, or how about this, Jolly? You're the guest. Oh. We thank you for doing these. Why don't you pick maybe maybe the player that when you look at one of these tiers, it gets you going? Oh. Right? Good, Jake. Nice. Like it. Well, Good hosting. Jake, I'm going to cheat a little bit Perfect. because when we devised one of these rows, you said a name immediately, and I was like, that makes a ton of sense because I see this. On mm-hmm. a daily basis. Because I really like Mariners fans. I like how passionate mm. they are. And every day, they venture into the trenches of social media. And they fight, tooth and nail, like you said. Yes. For their guy guy, Cal Rally. Big dumper. I have him in starting Twitter beef for you. Because, yeah, yeah. people don't 
put enough respect on the guy's name. Now he's fourth in F four, right below that that top three of catchers, and we're gonna get to the S tier guys, you know, the the top catchers in the game. But I think, you know, if Cal does it for one more year, we're talking about yeah, like a potential top three catcher in the game. Uh, he got MVP votes last year. He's due to get that All Star nod soon, I think, and. He's got a really fun pitching staff in Seattle that he gets to catch on a daily basis. If I'm a guy from the Pacific Northwest, mm. you can bet your bottom <laughs> dollar that I have a Cal Rally jersey on and I'm starting Twitter beef for him. The only catcher with 30 home runs last year. Number one by five home runs over some, some Mets kid. Uh, grades out well defensively. Switch hitter. Mm. Like... Cal Raleigh, I, I made the mistake, uh, was it one and a half years ago at the deadline, I said they should be in play for Wilson Contreras? Yeah. And Mariners fans got angry with me because uh, they love Big Dumper, and he's proven why. Uh, played 145 games last year. Ooh. Um, I think that's only second to Dadley, uh, who could be above him on the list. We will see. Uh, but you're right. I, I mean, when I when I started thinking of that category, too, and it makes sense, and Mariners fans, I hope you guys take this the right way. You should think Cal Raleigh's the guy because he's close enough to the guys that if you watch him day in, day out, work mm. with that pitching staff, you got the most homers thing to hang on to. I don't think Cal Raleigh is the S tier, but yeah, go to war for Cal Raleigh because he's awesome. And that's kind of the point. And he's got the nerd stuff, too, like 87th oh. percentile uh, caught stealing above average. Sure. Gunning guys out, 82nd percentile framing. By the way, I was wrong. He is top three in F4. He's right up there Look with uh, Dadley and William Contreras. So he is among that echelon. I think if I see it for another year, I got no problem putting him up there. But we'll see. 2024. I like that starting point. I, I think that sets up that category well. Mm. Um, I'm seeing some names right now that have me, have me a little, a little nervous. Cause I mean, man, they can be, <laughs> wow. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, just looking at the Contreras brothers, um, what do you do with them? Let's, um, let's do some easy ones, huh? Let's do some, is that MF for real? Cause yeah. that's, that's probably a category that people think need to be yeah, sorted out totally, a little bit. Totally. We, can, we can chew on those and, and get through that pretty. Easy. And it's a fun category because sure. like we've done, like we did uh, with the third base position, you know, one year of baseball, you usually need some more data on that. Um, and you know, we've got some exciting kids here that, uh, I guess it's which kid do you go to? Um, I can give you two. Okay. From the hip. Right off the hip. Uh, one, Gabby Moreno. Uh, fresh yeah. in our minds. Had a great postseason. Played through, like, a lot of dinged up injuries. Like, he was constantly getting hurt and just going back out there. Right. Uh, I think he won the respect of a lot of people, and a lot of people are kind of saying, like, oh, they won the trade. Uh, I want to see it for another year. He's had one full season in the bigs now, 111 games. Uh, let me see if he's real. Let me see if uh, he can get those on-base numbers up, stay consistent at the plate, stay healthy. Uh, and if so, then I, I will deem him real. And then the other one is uh, who you mentioned pretty quick when you were talking about home runs. That's Francisco Alvarez. I watched a lot okay. of him last year. Uh, had some inconsistent months. One month he was hitting 13 home runs. The other one he was not existent. Let's find out if he's real. He's only 22 years old. So we don't really know yet. Again, do you love him? I love Francisco okay. Alvarez. He's the next jersey I want to buy. I just need I need to find out if he's real or not, Jake. Okay, that's where I'm at. But I believe in the kid more than anyone. Did he crush lefties last year? Isn't that supposed to be the sig? He um, or did I, he not? I think he did wow. a little bit of both, though. He's better versus righties. Yeah, like he has interesting. There's some real because that's real when he initially things. got called up was yeah. in that Brave series Which to DH versus lefties. Jake, Here you go. Don't don't you don't want to talk about. Don't that. even start me. That on the series mismanaging. Is Why don't you want to talk about Robert. that? No, not even that. I'll talk about the Brave Gary series. Gary Blevins, Chase Station. Why would you throw Alvarez into the fire like that? That's uh, find out if he's real. None of my business. Um, and yeah, I. So I think there's, there could be an interesting conversation there. That Gabriel Moreno could just be set it and forget it. I'm not. But there's yet. also you could also even continue to elevate both of these guys. That I I think the category works out because 
I remember I just flash back to saying the Gabriel Moreno stat of when he played with the Snakes last year and mm. they were like undefeated. Right. They had like an undefeated race. You know, that's a good argument. Moreno. First set it and forget it. I kind of get that. Because in I mean, a way, they're that going is their to. plan. Yeah. Like, we'll see. We got to. Yeah. yeah, like, I, 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 with, with what our tiers are, I agree with him not being like out of place in this tier. I think I've already identified that that's our top comment or our most frequent comment on this uh, graphic is Gavin Moreno disrespected when we respect. Well, we're our own men. We're our own men. We're our own men. Maybe. Um, I Who else? I thought I saw someone that is, is that MF. I think Yiner Diaz. Yiner Diaz. Yeah. 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 Right. He like, can mash. I... Uh, the dude did some historic stuff. But, you know, Maldonado wore a lot of the load. I I want to look up. He had some good numbers. Last crazy, year, dude. Like he, 128 he really OPS plus. That's kind of nuts. He, uh, you know, I I saw people were comparing his stats to, like, young Mike Piazza. And it's like, okay. That's kind of the standard. He did DH. He played a, close to 100 games last year. He only started 42 games at catcher. Mm. So I think to put him... Mm. I got to see it. To put yeah, him yeah. at... Is that MF for real? I think a- that's Asher's fair. Asher's fans are in, in, incredibly excited to answer this question. Right. Yeah. Because if, if he does like if that again... able to figure that out last year and they just didn't get to see him play enough. If he does that again, he jumps to fighting in IG comments, which I think they might already do. Sure. Um, yeah, that will. Yeah. And he grades out well defensively. It's just, you know, 40 games quarter of a seasons it's tough to say like what he actually is um but i like him mm. being young and coming up with like a young houston pitching staff that's like all homegrown and stuff too i feel like that's like a fun storyline but i have him <laughs> in that category with the uh, alvarez and moreno i also i have one more guy i want to put there okay. i also have a guy i wonder if it's um, the same guy might be because i'm friends with a lot of cleveland people and they were clamoring for this dude Ooh, to come different up. guy and he came up and he was he was nice he was fun to watch. I got Bo Naylor up there as well because he's supposed to be pretty exciting as part of Cleveland's future. Uh, he ended up only getting 67 games last year, but again, really good numbers in that sample. Is he real? Cleveland's going to rely on him this year, I'm sure, but they bring in hedges to kind of like shore up that end. So I'm curious to see what they get out of him. This is tricky because now I've got some other young catchers I like. Mm-hmm. That don't feel like, hey, Alvarez hit twenty five homers last year. It's maybe Alvarez t- and Moreno tied graduate. for two with catcher. Yeah, for home runs as a kid, like there's a certain level of real. I mean, even what mm-hmm. what Diaz did, like compared to Bo Naylor and the other name I'm about to say, like Logan O'Hoppy. He was the next guy I was going to put in yeah. this. Like, in a smattering, looked nice. Yeah. Good young ball player. Top 100 prospect. All of that. Got hurt, right? Missed but a at lot the, of time, and it's an injury you want to see at the beginning of this year. At the same time, these other guys put in, like, work. Mm-hmm. Like, f- kind of, you can't argue that their seasons were on the same level. Yeah. So is there almost another young I guy think, tier? I think there's another young guy tier. Young guy tier two? Yeah. I think we can label it as that. I'd put it above it, obviously. I think it's above this and under set it and forget it. Right. I think Gabby goes there and Francisco goes there. And Yainer. And Yainer. That's where I was going to put a row below. You actually threw me off for a second. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's literally all the same. They're the guys that have done it a little bit longer, I think is what we're saying. So if we, so what do we label an Ohapi, a Bo Naylor, and... Campusano, dude. Yeah. Luis Campusano raked in a very small sample size last he year. He sounds like a guy you're excited to talk about on uh, TPPs. Hey, man, if you like Bo Naylor, why don't you like him? That's right. what I'd ask you. Jake, he had 319. <laughs> this mm. is pretty good. Another ca- real prospect. Is catcher like sneaky really fun right now? Like a lot of fun names here. So that's where this next and- category needs to be like. In my head, it's coming up with a name above is that MF for real for the first three guys. Yeah. Because I think okay. is that MF okay. for Okay, I see what you're saying. To them. So what if it's is that MF for real? And these M- um, MFers might be real? And maybe this is a... Uh, is it like has truth? Like no ceilings? Like what's... Like we're finding out this year. Like these guys are going to get full run. What extend now? 
Is that crazy? I would extend now. I don't know if you would. I don't think you would. I would extend Alvarez right now. <laughs> okay, so he likes Alvarez. <laughs> we figured that out. My bad. My bad. Um, my bad. So that one should be like... I can leave it for now if we want to keep bouncing. Let's let's do... This is kind of lame, but let's do like, let's find the ceiling. Okay. I think I, we'll, we'll come back to that. Because I think that'll be the final name of it, but I like it. Because those guys, for what they did last year, don't deserve to be... like I, As much no, as I'm I like you. Ohapi... I'm with you. Like he got... Campusano showed a little bit, but like, what do you got? Yeah. Um, who was the other kid we were just talking about? So I have... Bo Naylor. Yep. So Bo Naylor, Ohapi, Camposano feel like a more fitting three to be in the same tier. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Great. Okay. This is why we talk through it. Look Team at effort. that. Team effort. Um, I found a set it and forget it that I think is just kind of beautiful for a few different reasons. Okay. Is it... Oh, wait. I think I... Can we say it on three? What do you have? I'm interested to see if you have. I kind of want to see if we have the same person. You want to say the I same words on three? Yeah. Is that good podcasting? I never know. One, two, three. Salvi Perez. Perez. Okay. It's good podcasting, Jake. That was. Because I, I believe. Is that what you had, Biebs? That is I, the old I thought you were go- I was. I thought you were going Kirky. That is no. based on you saying Salvi's beautiful. been set it and forget it for years. Like he had. kind of is. He had the 48 homer season, obviously, like. Can't ignore that, but at this stage in his career, the Royals are like it's Salvi. That's where I feel That's like just our safety blanket. Yeah, it felt Salvi. like there was we a social a there was a social media my catcher yep. fight time for Salvi. It's past, but I think Father Time's there. But Salvi's in there. Yep, he's gonna play. He's he's a threat. He's a doubt. you make a bad pitch, he's gonna do his thing. I know nerds hate Salvi, but I love Salvi. Salvi's great. Salvi's great. Salvi's a threat. Yeah. You, you, that has to be measured. Um. Is anyone else a set it and forget it? Uh, I have I have Trevi there. I mean, Trevi's catcher won, and he was an all star like recently, one of the better defenders in the game. Pretty sure they. I mean, but the Yankees are gonna test out Wells too, so it gets kind of hairy. Yeah. Like I think in the Yankees Where dream in the two? Yankees dream season this year, I think Wells is their guy. I got it. Wilson Contreras. Do you think people can fight for him to be the best? Probably not, not right? Not at this point. A couple of years you could. Yeah. I don't think people are, f- are okay. getting in the mud too bad. Yeah. The Cardinals are going to use him. Yeah. Do they just give him a five-year deal. Kind of said it and forget it. Yeah, you said it. For- That's the reason they gave him Although that money. they did, like, bench him for a while, but that, that weird. whole that thing was, was a disaster. Yeah, he actually ended in a pretty good place at the end of the season, though. His numbers ended up about where you would have guessed and yeah. All that. Is William the better Contreras brother right now? Right now, definitely. Okay. Yeah. And it's is, not, it's not I was close. about to say, is William in the my catch? Or I mean, Wilson ends the season with a 124 OPS plus and 20 home runs. Like, that's pretty good. A lot of that really is good. Car- Cardinals garbage time. But still. Right. Those those are numbers. And I guess the defense. I have said it and forget it. Okay. So are we putting baby bro on the line above that? Yeah. I think, baby bro, I think guys get... To, I think fights happen for him. Maybe, bro, you Because he's a little younger. You got to think about us. If here. he keeps coming up, you're thinking S. You gotta I think th- after this year, there's a world where we're there. Jake, what's your favorite thing to do on Baseball Reference? It's Butter Knife, right? Yeah. Let's Butter Knife the last two seasons of William Contreras. Because mm. it's an 840 OPS. It's good. It's a 130 OPS plus, Jake. Went to the Brewers catching school, school of Brewers catchers. The Graded Brewers out well last year. were a division-winning team last year. Their most valuable player was their catcher. It's kind of crazy. But to be fair, and this is now a name we've dangled a lot, mm. I don't – do you think if you asked a lot of baseball minds, whether that's 50 people in our office, mm. whether that's you took to Twitter right now, what pe- what percentage of people would take Adley over William Contreras? Eighty, yeah, if not higher. Like, but is that like a, for the future or right now? Like, it gets hairy. But Williams, like, it's not like Williams old. He's twenty. No, he's a kid. He's a stud. Like that was a sneaky, like, amazing. Oh, wait, hang on, Adley. hang on. Sneaky Brewers, amazing. Same age. Adley's twenty five. Williams twenty six. So actually, Kids. I don't know. It's okay, a, it's an interesting question. Okay, let's let's dig into Adley a little bit because um. he's 
128 OPS plus, 374 on base, switch hitter. Mm. I think he's a little more well-regarded defensively. That could be wrong. I know last year, William actually graded out pretty well. Catching lab, foolish. Okay, let's start over. (laughs) Who's the best catcher? (laughs) Shit. We're doing this. Yeah, we got to do it eventually, right? So who are the guys who have this conversation? Is I've for? got Reese McGuire staring at me. No. He's um, probably so there, there's Sean Murphy. So there's four. Adley, yeah. Sean Murphy. There's four guys we got to think about. It's Adley. It's William Contreras. It's Will Smith, who has been good for Will a while. Smith. Will Smith. And Sean Murphy. Those are the four you have to think about for us here. I would want three of them there. Mm. Four feels crowded for S tier. Yeah, you, even for the way we're doing things. I want two or three. Uh, and then that would put, I think, JT Real Muto into starting Twitter fight. Yeah. And that's so Philly. Yeah, that's and I I love JT, but, you know. He took if a you step s- back. It's still the same profile, but all those things are like a B plus. If you now. watch the warehouse games, <laughs> you know that father time is a very real thing. Mm. And JT, I mean, he's... Going to be 33 this year. Sure. So I, I don't think it's a shot fired. I I do love it. It's kind of Philly. Fan. You know, JT's, still have his... JT's been the best for five years. Yeah. Is that Philly? What was that? Nope, that wasn't quite a Philly. Is that a boating man? It's And they're like the Philly's like social media account tagline for him is anytime he does something, it's BC. They put BCIB, best catcher in baseball. Mm. I'll say this. I mean... They are starting Twitter fights. If you think about the narrative spun about Alejandro Kirk last season. Was technically more valuable than JT Real Muto by F four. By F four, Kirky beat out Real Muto. One point, I mean, one point six to one point five. It's just to grab a headline and make a point. Okay, but. I'd get that headline out of my face. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, I think. What do you think? Oh God! Do you want my three for S tier? We can all give our three and talk about it. Come to a consensus. So, so we're bouncing between Adley, William, Will Smith, and Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. So I have Sean Murphy in there for sure. No doubt in my mind. You can't argue against it. No. I mean, no. if Three not for... He put together, he was a pretty easy all-JM choice pretty much every month. If not for a really bad last two months, Murphy is like very deep into MVP conversation. Actually, really just bad last month. He hit one one eleven in September in 14 games. Only hit one home run. And that kind of tanked his season stats. And with that, still made the all-star team. Still at a 125 OPS plus in the year. You know the defense. Like, Sean Murphy belongs in Esther. William Contreras has me in a blender. There's nothing you can really argue that says he shouldn't be with these guys. Isn't it crazy it's that just the, the Braves could have kept him and they would have been fine? <laughs> they would have been fine. The Brewers just like jumped in and were like, "Yeah, when well, and we'll take William Contreras as part of your guys' like separate trade." Yeah, here's the current game plan. I think we put them all on the S tier line, and then we for adjust. now, and then we adjust. If something needs to be sorted, it needs to be sorted. But right now, it's hard to exclude one of them. So that's Will Smith. I mean, is Cal Rally not in no, range with no, some no, of these no, no. guys? He's not. Not for me. Not yet. I don't. Th- yeah, I don't have that. Not to be a geezer, but I mean, Cal Rally. If I'm gonna u- tr- find ways to count against him, which I don't like doing because I like Cal Rally. Right. Um, three oh six on base, two thirty two batting average. Like he's a big time like okay defensive backstop, and he hits you bombs. But he's he doesn't have the dimension that I think these other four catchers have. Like Adley's an on base guy. Sean Murphy hits for power and also is maybe the best defensive catcher of the group. William Contreras graded out well everywhere. Like, he was much more well-rounded. Like, they didn't have shortcomings, I think. I'm going to have to come back to that. I'm a little, I'm in a little bit of a pickle, but I have good news for the people. Yeah. I think I have a set it and forget it. Okay. Cool. And maybe you guys can call me out on this and maybe it's wrong. And maybe it's a fight in the IG comments. Whoa. Maybe it's a ceiling. Jonah Heim? Yeah. I have him in Twitter beef. Oh. You think he's up there? That's a World Series winner, an all-star last year. I'm going to look at the stats one time. I did, I, I did that one purely off of feel. 
And I, I think he's miles ahead of Salvador Perez in this current juxtaposition, like right now, 2024. I don't know if you can put you them in the same so? group. You think so? I don't know if you can put them in the same group. John Ryan was really good last year. <sighs> John Ryan was really good. Salvia, 23 homers. <sighs> the OPS hurt late. You can, you can talk me into it. I mean, it's the, it's the first year he proved it, and he was a big piece for that team. One year, he wins the gold glove. I guess do what you want with that. Yeah. Um, and he is the guy now. They're going to set him and forget him, to your point. I think you're setting and forgetting. Okay. A like, it's a little later half. in career. He turns 29 this year. Okay. I don't Just, think you can argue him with the best. Okay. Where the other people I think you can. All right. Ranger fans, we're mad. We're getting hostile. I just, I look at the rest of the choices and I foresee Cal Rally being kind of lonely. Unless we bump someone from S tier and bump someone up from Zen and forget it, which could happen. I, well, isn't I he think with JT? I have True. him with JT right now. You have Twitter beef there? I can see a very realistic. Because JT's kind of set it and forget it for me. I think you, I think we're still starting Twitter beef. I think he's got another year. JT Real Mudo plays a, trade T Real Mudo plays a big game and you say, that's the best catcher. I don't say pop that. time, best pop time. Oh come on! All right, I'll put him in Twitter beef. And I have, people. I I think there's a very real possibility we end up with Jonah Heim getting gra- promoted, and one of the S tiers getting demoted. And I don't know which one, but we'll get there. Um, let's do some easy ones. Is that cool with you? I want to do some. Give us this one thing. Okay, so I, you want to start clearing the board a little bit. Let's start clear. Let's make this easier okay. on ourselves. The harder questions will become easier sure. if we do this. Uh, give us one thing, whether it's defense, whether it's hitting. Um, I comfortably put Austin Hedges and give us one thing. Sure. He's Handsome. Maybe Defense and vibes. The, mo- the most give us one thing catcher in baseball. In fact, he just earned $4 million bucks. Did he go back to Cleveland? Back, back to Cleveland. Back to Cleveland. Unlikely. Literally catch the ball. Catch the Pop. ball. Catch and the ball. Be awesome. Trick the ump. Help Bonailer get better too while Trick you're at the it. Ump. Um I have Elias Diaz in there as Mash a little bit. I mean I know his end year, end of year numbers events. didn't land in a great place, but that's still the all star game MVP. He deserves to be here. I uh there could be a daydream about Gary argument. You could say oh, if you're a rock right. fan. Oh. I had if you're to, a Rocks fan. I was thinking about them and one other team as my most obvious daydream about Gary's. Jake, that's so fun. The, the Gary Sanchez. I mean, I love what Diaz Gary did last course. year. I love that he's got an all-star game MVP I think, in the bag. I can't believe they didn't trade him. I think he does more than one thing in that for most of the year he did hit, like, kind of for real. It ended where the numbers ended, kind of where he would have gotten I'm here to be locked into things, so yeah. let's do it. I like that. I like, him, about Gary. I like him there. And the other one that kind of breaks my heart, because it's a guy I've kind of just blindly liked from afar. I have Kiber Ruiz in Daydream About Gary. Yes. Yeah. I, I think the problem here is I think Kiber Ruiz can hit. I don't think he's a catcher. I think they found that out last Which is year. tough. I think the throwing out runners thing was like all time bad. Let's pull I can pull up the numbers real I, quick. I think you're Ooh, yeah. Jake, you were not wrong. Yes. Caught stealing percentage of fifteen percent, which is not good. Uh and you also had the most pass balls in the league. Not good. And I don't know if he it's it's kind of the same conversation we used to have about Gary. Is he even hitting enough for us to his league have average that conversation? I think he hits better if you move him out of catcher, probably. I mean, it's one of the great debates, right? Like, can you coach up his catching to be good enough that his stats at catcher are actually pretty good? Or is it, let's get him off? And it, I think it's one of the storylines of the national season is yeah. what are they going to do with this guy? Because he's supposed to be like a franchise reset kind of player, and he, he hasn't been. He was like the key in the Max Scherzer. Training, so is he give so. us this one thing in terms of his hitting? Is that what we're saying? Or is he I think he about like, Gary? Are we already replacing him? I think it's a daydream. I think about he's Gary daydream about Gary. Okay. Or Whether that's this guy it's... developing like Gary, where now Gary's in like a fairly good spot, or if that's the Nationals, like hey, their fans are saying go sign Gary. Let's have him split time with this kid. Trade one of them at the deadline or something. Okay. 
Um, I think he's a tra- trading Rebecca Gary. Christian Vasquez, give us this one thing. He's at that point in his career. Yeah, I mean, easily. he's kind of been at that point. Yeah. He, he pretty much got benched last year, right? They're trying to trade him hard, and no one wants any piece of that. Okay. Which is, unfa- which is unfortunate, because he's had a nice career. Which is tough if you're him, because he just signed that contract, and now the Twins are like, get out. Get in the paper. Tough. Like that. Um, what else we got? Is Trevi Christian Vasquez is going there? Is Trevi give us this one thing? Is he give I us think defense? He, I think he is a fairly obvious give us one thing, and it sucks for him that that's where that tier is. I think that's where he lands on the list because he's not Gary because they're not going to sign Gary. People daydream. Stop it. And he's no. kind of and he's you daydream more than others. Splitting some time, I think this year. And I think when he's in, we wanted to give you this one thing. Yeah, if we're being honest, I think Trevi and Wells, like sure. Wells, is out are, there to try to hit. I think Trevi's in there for defense. Cool. Like that's literally, that's how it's yeah, set up. We're thinning out well, the group. I like it. Wellsy, as much as I'd love to put him in, the, is that MF for real? He didn't like hit in the month we saw. Uh, I, I'm I'm not worried about that. But. If Austin Wells had the stats of Ohapi, Campusano, or Naylor last year, we would put them in fight. In he the would have comments. been the first catcher yeah. we talked about because you guys would have started okay. on him. We would have started there. It's true. And we're and it's that team, team. and sorry. they're not daydreaming about Gary Maldonado. One thing you're out there for one thing. Yep, easy peasy. That's and, good. And do you know what team he's on right now? Did he say Tigers? Where did he sign? Mm-mm. Japan? Chicago White Sox. That's right. I was just waiting to get that. traded. <laughs> never got waiting to get traded. Um, what else can we do that's easy? Jake Rogers, daydream about Gary if you're the Tigers. I don't know, man. Dude, His stats you are like pretty Jake nice. You've met I think you didn't you do Jake Rogers did, on like a home didn't draft? He bang tw- twenty one homers last year. <laughs> And the Tigers lineup. And he was hurt. I think he was a, a Tommy uh, John catcher. 107. Right? The stats aren't too pretty. 21 homers. 286 on base. 221 tough. batting average, 286 on base. He'll be, this will be his age 29 I like season. him in Is That Motherfucker Real? I don't mind him there. I know he's a little bit different than the other three. He's not like rookie he look, catcher. He looks a little like a freak. He's, uh, injuries have gotten in the way for him. I found it. Hitting 21 home runs like catchers. I found it. Okay. okay. Give it to me. The answer is daydream about Gary. Okay. But it's daydreaming about him being Gary. Uh, His stats aren't that far off. Uh, him Jake. and Gary's stats from last year are very similar. I just I love when you get the last poetic, two Jake. seasons they've played combined. Probably landed in an awfully similar. I mean, Jake, I thought I saw the whole board, and then right. you just yeah. You said no. There's you can do this. You know, my whole life I was like, wow, my sister's the art- artistic one. She's really good at pottery. She's good at drawing. <laughs> She's good at all of that. And it's like, Jake, you suck at that. Well, well, I'm artistic with my brain movies. So yeah, Brave, um, put that on a shirt. I hate to ch- I hate to change some tears. Oh, uh oh. Uh, Uh-oh. just I a guy, guy caught my eye in the group. Travis Darno, I think, has said it and forget it. I know the Braves are a weird team. If oh, if yeah. something happened to Sean Murphy, you would be said it and forget it. I think you, you know who Darno is at this point in his career. He's earned it. Yeah, he definitely deserves to be up there. Braves have too many catchers. That's crazy, though. I mean, him on the same line as Heim and Wilson Contreras. He's good. Oh, I thought we were talking about the fact that the Braves have had Darno Murphy. Oh, I mean and that William is Contreras ridiculous. in the past. Years. It's insane. It's not fair, Jake. It's not fair. I like Travis Darno. I like Travis. Darnell. I actually kind of didn't hit last There's a chance we could create another line for him because it's just like, why? Why am I the backup? Why? Are it's you insane. The backup? You're the best backup in baseball. You could start for 20 teams. Yeah, last year wasn't pretty. No, I hadn't looked at this uh, in a while. He was an All Star the year before. His only All Star appearance. Oh, um, last year wasn't pretty, but I mean, I can't put him on the same line with Jonah Heim. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. No way, Pop. But where does he go? Is he give us one give thing? Us one thing. That feels kind of mean to him. Um, he might be. He's kind of there to just hit a little bit, right? Isn't that the thing? They kind of are asking, him just like, all right, when you're in, his you one hit. thing is like keep Sean Murphy. <laughs> Alive. Every everyone's one thing in that row is different. Keep though. Sean Murphy S tier. I think we. I'm putting him at the the front of give Man, us one. What thing. a jump! Tough. 
hey, him and Trevi next to each other, they're like, that's kind of fair. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, if you're a Yankees fan right now, are you, are you doing that one-for-one one swap? It doesn't really matter. Tinch, probably. Yeah, right? But how much are you But just because I've been so thirsty mm. for catcher production. Yes, exactly. I don't if know we, if, if Wells hits at all, then no. Sure. But, yeah. Um, Interesting. Oh, we forgot about one really fun young catcher who had... I, I have kind of two I have questions for you guys about. Who had really... F- fun highlights defensively last year. Uh, Patrick Bailey, I think, is going to be a really fun player to keep an eye on this year. Um, but he's a weird one because I don't know if he's ceiling or real because, what did he have, 97 games, which is, like, decent. Offensive numbers aren't pretty, but defensive numbers are really pretty. The defensive highlights from Patrick Bailey are unreal. They're awesome. They're unreal. Um, that Maybe that's why is that MF for real. Yeah. So, like, yeah, hey, he's a freak. He's unfortunately, one day he could end up going the wrong direction. Like, mm. hey, give us one thing because he could be a gold glove crazy catcher. The OPS plus landing at 77. It's tough. Last year. Um, I think for everything you can say about whether it's Bo Naylor, Campusano, their offense uh, with a little <laughs> bit of Logan O'Hoppy, mm. and you can say that with Patrick Bailey. Like, he was good, the but reason- he didn't hit. Yeah, I mean, the reason I'm high on him is his first two months, he had a 904 OPS. Sure. Like, the first two months, I was like, oh, shit, like, this guy's real. And, like, that's but that's supposed to be Joey Bart. What's mm. this guy doing? Why is he stealing all that <laughs> spotlight? But then he, he came back to chance. earth that those last three months. So we'll see. Is he real? Is he not real? Let's find out. I think he fits there pretty perfectly. And I, I think the other guy to put on that row, and correct me if I'm wrong, Shaylan Jaleers? Um, he I'm, finishes the season with 22 homers. Does he really? It's a little bit of opportunity. Yeah. Because he's playing in Oakland. But again, like this guy was a real prospect. 135 games. I mean, he's the centerpiece of the Murphy deal, right? Is he? Pretty much. Yeah. So, and has, he had some good months. I mean, he's the he opposite done enough of Bailey. To be, let's find the ceiling. He's the opposite in the fact that his last two months are really good and the other four are kind of. There's an argument for let's find the ceiling. I I, I get... Um, I don't know. This is where it gets tricky yeah. because he has more of a sample size that's not so pretty. He's I think he's real for me. But at the same time, let's. that was his first full season. He plays 40 games in 2022. Mm. He plays 135 in 2023. 205, 268. Yeah, it's not, I don't think it's enough. 22 homers, I, I guess for me... I was just going to say, like, okay, let's do the tick up. Like, he... Everything ticks up a little bit. He is 220 batting average, Mm. 300 on base. I don't know. It Playing that game gets really tricky because if he ticks down... (gasps) He's going to be 26 next year, too. Like, for reference, Gabby Alvarez, Yiner. I feel fine putting him... With Patrick Bailey. That's where I have him. I've, um, I feel fine with that. Dream about Gary. Yeah. I, I have a cleaner. Let's find the ceiling. Okay. Tyler Stevenson. Okay. He has, last year was eight games in 2020. Let's discount those, although they were good. Mm. Uh, 2021 to 2023, that's three seasons. 2022, there were some injuries, but he hit like crazy. Mm. One of the, at, at that time, was considered one of the better two way catchers. One of the guys you would start a team with at that position. He the offense took a dip last year, but he got to play a full year again. Like I think now that we know he's healthy, I think it's a, all right. Let how good is this defense? How good is this offense? What what is their dual ceiling? So he gets a bump here because he's the only catcher on this list that follows me on Instagram. Oh God. Okay, trying to build my following there. Um, for him, it's, it's, it's tough because injuries did get in the way. And I mean, 2022, he was looking like he was going to have a special season, but after a full season and you're going to be 27 next year, like, do we know the ceiling? Does it, I think this is when you find it. It's really tough because he has one 
Not one full season. I guess he kind of has two. He has two. I'd count 21. Games is a full season. 21 counts. I'm trying to see how many games he played a catcher in And the 21. other three are young guys. In 21, he starts 65 games at catcher. I mean, last year it's 78. Um, I guess what's getting me right now, I lean is that MF for real. I know let's find the ceiling. I don't know. I think we got to find out if he's real. Because yeah. that the 2021 there. stats, like you're saying, BBD, mm. I mean, those are... Those are really good. Yeah. 286, good 366. Stats, man. The 50 games in 2022, he went nuts. Last year, he got a full roll at it, and the numbers weren't there. That, I don't know, the Tyler Stevenson that we want to be a stud catcher, I need to find out if that's real, I think. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I'm finding the ceiling. I think I'm there. Like, this is kind of a huge pivot year, and I think if you're being honest, around the league, Moreno, Diaz... Uh, and Alvarez, I think everyone goes with them over Stevenson for next year. I think so, too. Yeah, I think so. I, think so. I have nothing to add there, honestly. Um, hey. What do we do with these Blue Jays catchers? They've been staring mm, at me. Spinning in my head the I, whole time. I don't know what to do spinning with them. Spinning in my head the whole duration of this. I like both of them for some facets of their game, and I think they're a really good tandem, but I have literally no idea where to put them. The Danny Jansen numbers from last year are just mind blowing. It's crazy. And watching him being penciled into their cleanup spot all e- off season on Fangraphs is crazy. <laughs> Seventeen home runs in eighty six games. He had fifteen in twenty. He had fifteen in seventy two games last year. If you combine Danny Jansen's last two seasons, one hundred fifty eight games. Yeah. Which a catcher won't play that many games, but if he did. 32 home runs and 817 OPS. He's a Contreras brother. Yeah. <laughs> a guy that was known for his defense previously. And he's hitting like a Contreras brother. Is he? Is he? I think both of them are let's find the ceiling. Alejandro Kirk has the down year. He comes up hot, looks cool. Ever, is he a cheat mode? Jake, I mean, the last three seasons for Jansen are, like, really good. It's an 805 OPS. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know. Call me crazy. Do you or do you not see Blue Jays fans on social media tweeting about Danny Jansen? These are two different questions. I see Blue Jay fans doing a lot of stuff on social media. Um, I mean, is it a double set it and forget it? Maybe. <laughs> like if Danny Jansen continues to do his thing? But these two are doing works. Yeah. Let me, let me look at Alejandro Kirk and see if that's cr- crazy to put them both there. I have to text Jack. My, my laptop's about to die. Oh, no. I need a no. charger. Oh, Jack. Please, please, please. I went. I mean, if I want to give the jolly bullshit answer, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I would point out Alejandro Kirk's war from last year and that he was still fine that way. Um, no bullshit. He's coming off a year where he was all-star silver slugger. His numbers aren't pretty from last year. 250, 334, mm. just not a lot of pop compared to some of those other catchers that we just ran through that hit 200 with 20 homers. Right. Um, Age 24 season last year, just turned 25. I think those two are set it and forget it. I, uh, you swayed me. Yeah. You've been having a really good episode in swaying. Yeah, having wow. a good sway up. A good sway up for you. And while we're here, five minutes on the clock, Jorge Polanco <laughs> trade. What do you think? Uh, I like it. A lot of people, I think, instantly went to, oh, are we getting a starting pitcher back? But it's not that kind of deal because it's, it's one to two years of Polanco, yeah. who, by the way, has like... <laughs> Some really good seasons with the Minnesota Twins. And the Mariners have had this weird revolving door of second basemen that have sh- that should have worked mm. between Adam Frazier in 21 and then Colton Wong last year. Like, both those in my brain, I was like, yes, that makes sense. That's a good fit. I'm sure it'll click. Neither of them did. So I'm hoping third time's the charm. 
Jorge Polanco, I think, is the best of those three players, and I'm, I'm happy that they made that deal. I don't think they gave up too much. That gets Audio Jack to save the day with the charge. Oh, I, I need oh the he needs the <laughs> block. Oh, it's in, it's in my needs. bag in one of the pockets. Jorge Polanco. In the front pocket. Thanks. I've been tough on the Mariners this offseason. Their lineup with Jorge Polanco in it feels a lot better. You can talk to You me got the it, two man. switch hitters with him and Raleigh. Uh, you got Julio at the top. Uh, the lineup feels better, and it feels like they're not done. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's offensive. I still don't know if they're going to dip into their pitching more um, and try to cash in that way. Mitch Garver's a complete wild card for me. I don't know what to do with that, but he's was hitting at a crazy level. But right now, and Jorge Polanco hitting third shouldn't turn anyone's head like this, not to be rude to Jorge Polanco, who's been a really solid baseball player. Quietly. The lineup feels like everyone getting pushed down one spot. Cal Rally hitting fifth. Ty France hitting sixth. Yeah. Luke Rayleigh hitting seventh. Mitch Hanniger is a potential eight-hole option. Yeah. Everyone getting pushed down made that team feel a little bit better. We got the block. You know, AJ, huge. AJ, Jackson Sorensen. Um, <laughs> to our graphic. That it was Jackson Sorensen. <laughs> Warehouse games. Um, I don't know. I, I guess in a way... This was the time for Minnesota because Eddie Julien Ooh. made the leap and you can give him that second base job. Um, getting Discalfani and some prospects, you get a depth pitcher if you need it this year, which I think they did need because yeah. no offense to Chris Paddock and Louis Varlin, but I'm interested to see what their years look like. Right. Um, I think it's, it's really good for both sides, and that's kind of how the Twins roll with these trades recently. I'll be interested to see for the Twins, because thing I guess what I just said, the fact that you can potentially slot Jorge Polanco in the middle of the lineup, it's kind of my Eddie Rosario theory mm. that came from the same team. Okay. Like, if you're that level of ball player, you know, like, I don't think we're worried about MVP votes this year for Jorge Polanco, but if you feel like you could put a switch hitter in the middle of your lineup, there's not a ton of those guys. Um, now you got two good ones. That I'm worried if... I'm worried the Twins could feel it more in a bad way. Than Arias or just feel it more in the terms just of this Just in trade? this trade. Yeah. no, Like, I, in terms of this trade, I think there could be a point where the Twins are like, man, I I don't know. They kind of would have liked to have Jorge Polanco still. Like, I, if Discalfani's just giving me some long relief innings and I see Jorge Polanco have a nice April-May, mm -hmm. that's going to sting a little bit. Yeah. I mean... You're right that they're like, okay, let's give Julian the keys. He played over 100 and he played over 100 oh. games, had a 130 OPS plus, played good D. But they put they pushed the button fast. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Polanco was on his way out. They were talking about trading him for kind of a while now, and he's just been a quiet cornerstone there. 120 OPS plus his past three seasons combined, right. by the way. Um, but. I was expecting more for the Twins. I'm not going to lie. Like, Topa is a, is a good pitcher, and we know who Di Sclafani can be from 2021. Hasn't been that guy in a little bit, though. So, like, I see both ends of it. We'll see what they get out of the prospects, too. But I, I, I like it for the Mariners a lot. Because, like you said, two switch hitters with upside in the middle of your lineup is really nice. Not a lot of teams have that. Yeah, and I guess that's the closing potential of this trade. It could be... Twins masterclass, mm. which we don't say a lot. Like, if one of these prospects pans out. Sure. Or adding Topa to that bullpen, like, they have some serious depth there now, which I already thought was kind of one of their team's strengths. And when you make a strength a strength, I like that a lot. Mm. Uh, so we'll see on that. 30 seconds. Justin Turner to the Toronto Blue Jays. People are too upset about it. It's fine. He was, he Who's was really upset? Good. Blue Jays fans. Oh, God. They're pretty upset. I mean. I said people. Well, wow. The oh. truth comes out. He's not Jorge Soler. He's not J.D. Martinez at this point in his career, but really still Justin Turner. He had really good numbers last year. He stays in the same division. Play through um, and you can also still get one of those two guys, by the way. You're the Blue Jays. You spent a lot of money. Say something, Time's up. Say something nice about the Blue Jays. Uh, if, they get a, if they get a lefty in the top four of their lineup, they are a fucking problem. Okay. And I don't know if their front office knows that yet. Like, I heard people, I saw people daydreaming Arias trades to the Blue Jays, and if they do that, they're like my World Series. Jakey, say that. It kind of makes me wish they were in on a Polanco 
little bit. Yes. Polanco would have made a, a lot of A thousand percent. <laughs> would have made a lot For of For the sense. price tag given up? Yes. And they had that pitching. All right, back to the catcher tier list. <laughs> uh, we don't have a ton of notable names no. remaining. Uh, I don't know if we place all these guys. It, the one that I think I stumbled into. Yeah. Stumble. Pittsburgh Pirates, former number one overall pick, Henry Davis. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Is that motherfucker <clears throat> real? No. What? Does he give us one thing? I need him to give me one thing. Are you defense? Are you offense? No, you that's doing disrespectful. Right Look at the numbers last year. Well, they I know kept, it's a small sample. It was a debut thing. I'm not holding that against they him. They kept moving him around. I need to too. get. I need to just give one thing, man. It was some Pittsburgh messy stuff where they're playing him in right field and like they have Andy Rodriguez too, who they got what? from the Mets. I don't know if they're moving him what around. What are you so defending much. right now? Henry da- Henry Davis has the chance to be a really good player. Sure does. Yes. I need to. So why is he so give this us year one the goal thing? is give me one thing? No, I'm out on that. That's crazy. So you're building off last year. Yeah. What are you building? What do you mean? What am I? They let him get catch a full, twice. Get a full season of catcher and hit. I mean, in a way, you're asking one thing. <laughs> I'm asking two <laughs> things. I'm saying <laughs> catch and hit. I mean, the catch is implied a little bit. We're putting a guy who. That's crazy. All right, I'm outvoted. Clearly, I, I'm outvoted. I, here's nothing my else. If nothing you're else a, works. You're a Padres fan. Okay. You're a Cleveland fan. Okay. You saw what Campusano and Naylor did last year. Yeah. And you want to put them on the same line with Davis. Jake, that's a former number one, one, one. overall I pick. Get that I'm excited about him. Like I'm they still have him thing. as a catcher. I'm leaving him off the board right now. Is Gary daydreaming about Gary? Yeah, because I think he is. Obviously, he's I think obviously. that's cute. Anyways, <laughs> Gary daydreams about himself. just thinking about hitting homers. <laughs> Got to be so sick. It's cute as hell. God, Gotta I hope so he's a Rocky. Sick. I hope he's a Rocky. Uh, Connor Wong. I I don't even want to be like rude to Red Sox fans here. I don't. I don't know. I don't really know either. Is he there starting? Yeah. Racked up some more last year, Jolly. Is he do one thing? Does he play good defense? Are they signing Gary? Are they dreaming about Gary? I, I thought knew, about that, you guys but were scared about Red that, Sox but... fans would have to lick a lot of old tweets. Yeah. That old phrase. Give us one thing. I need to do <clears> one <throat> thing. Hey, if he's next to Darno and Trevi, that's not a bad place uh, to be. Red Sox fans. Don't. Sorry. They're gonna listen in on podcasts. Does he platoon with Reese McGuire? You know what? Let's put. I'm gonna put the Yankees Red Sox right next to each other. Cool. That, that makes everyone fair. happy. That feels very fair. These are our catchers. <laughs> uh, are the Twins catchers daydreaming about Gary, actually? Do they miss him? Is that Ryan Jeffers I'm Ryan staring Jeffers, at right now? He was who, good, who though. kind of is Gary. He was good. When they watch him, are they just dreaming about Gary? We can't. We can't, we can't he had a 134 OPS. He's plus 26. He hit last yeah, year. He mashed last year. It He's might be, be a find your ceiling. Yeah. I kind of feel fine. like he deserves to be there. It's fine with me. Yeah, actually, he played him. well. He's older, but like he played catcher. For 90, almost 100 games. He's been catching when he's played for several years now. Yeah. And he banged last year. So let's find out your ceiling. Let's find the ceiling. Okay. I think I might keep it. Let's find the ceiling. I don't hate. Let's John find Gomes the ceiling. Gomes is on this. Daydream about Gary. <laughs> is he like 50? Daydream about he's, Gary. He's daydreaming he's about got, Gary. He's got great facial he hair he in the could picture. Hit homers like Gary. John Gomes has been in the league like longer than I've been alive. Feels like. I think Rays and Marlins fans are daydreaming about Gary. They didn't have enough of a guy okay. there for me to for me to even. Yeah, hey, I like that. If Gary signed with the Rays, I'd be tight butthole. <laughs> Hang on, can I do something really quick? Or Miami. Do you know Gary who? would be Solaire next year. Can I do something? Really quick? It's a little dramatic. Yeah. Yes. Um, are you going to talk about who the Rays catcher? No, are? I don't care about that. Um, like, Good. Don't look at his page. Does Jan Gomes have more or less career home runs than Trevor Bluth? More. God, he's played a lot. I'm going less. It's more. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he, he's been Trevor. mashing lefties Day the last dream couple about years. Gary. Give me the games played. Uh, 1084. Jan came over from Brazil, for Jan, which like is two nuts. Two decades ago. Isn't he still like the only one? He had, he had 200 more games than Trevor. Okay, give Trev 200 games. See what happens. He would have got 30 more homers. Throw that lefty bullshit. (laughs) You would have. Um, Sorry, Trev. So I'm looking at Henry Davis, 1-1 pick. And a bunch of team logos. 
<laughs> White Sox, we don't really need. Yeah, I got we, Maldi we covered on Maldonado. there. I don't Jake even, Rogers is out guy. there. I'm not placing the team I got logos. Two socks. I'm ignoring them. I think I like Rays in Miami. That's a little Florida twist on it. Nice. Yeah, and I like daydreaming about Gary on those two teams. Sure. Henry what? Davis is the only guy left in my group that I think. Who's that other? Who's that Angels hat wearing? Is that Stassi? Or is that? Uh, that is Max Stassi, who is on the White Sox. Is he good? Every year, people think he's going to He hit. was the sexy breakout pick in like 2021. He didn't play last year. And, and he, he was bad in 22. I'm not putting him on the paper. No. Yeah, Does sorry, he Max give Stassi. us one thing? I don't, I don't know what thing he gives you. Yeah. I think they think he can hit, right? Is McGuire giving one thing? He'll play. I have the Red Sox and give us one Red time. Sox and Yankees are just all in a jumble together, so everyone sure. can get mad about that. Jolly Henry Davis, last call. Is he real? I'm not disrespecting. You, you guys can outvote me, but the people that listen to this podcast know that I didn't disrespect Henry Davis. He's a good I, player. I have your spin zone. You're welcome. Again, you swaying me again? My, no, no, no. I'm with you. Okay. But... This time, is that MF for real is kind of used in the opposite way. Oh, is Henry like, Davis is that real? the 1-1 one, one pick, a negative one-and-a-half war player? Tough. He's not an outfielder. Why'd they put him out there? I'm not sure. I think they were trying to protect him, <laughs> oh, and it got even weirder. They are trying to play. So I'll put him on that line. I'm going to spin cool. it the exact opposite. The stats are tough. They're tough. I'm not, I'm not denying that. But I'm with you. Um, We've seen tough rookie seasons. And maybe that'll motivate him, and maybe he'll be real. So, Stassi, you're staying off the board. Henry Davis, we're asking if you're real, and I I hope last year wasn't real. And, and I it's have, probably not. I have no team logos and no Max Stassi. I'm going to reverse engineer this. Okay. Hey, give us one thing, Darno. Keep Murphy alive. Mm-hmm. Trevi, defense. Wells, offense. Connor Wong, defense. McGuire, I guess the same. Uh, Austin Hedges, handsome catch. Uh, <laughs> Christian Vasquez, yep. Um, Maldonado. Maldonado, your one thing is get traded to Houston at the deadline. Yep. Uh, it's easy. Daydream about Gary. Elias Diaz likes what Gary does, and Rockies fans would love to see Gary hit nukes. Uh, Ruiz might not be a catcher. Jake Rogers, am I Gary? <laughs> Gary Sanchez, I am Gary. I am Gary. Just like Gary. <laughs> Jan Gomes. I am Brazilian. You know, just wishing he had a little youth to him. Uh, and the Rays and the Marlins, I would love either of those fits for Gary sure, Sanchez. And I'll it feels like he might go to one of those teams. I'll put him there. Because I haven't really thought about that too much. Is that MF for real? We got a fun group of kids, man. Mm. Logan Ohapi played well, got hurt. Campusano hit a lot when he was out there for a little bit. Same with Bo Naylor. Patrick Bailey, opposite of that. Playing incredible defense. The hitting fell off. Shea Lanchelier's, I'm going to respect 22 homers from a young catcher. Maybe there's a leap coming. Stevenson, down year last year with some other hitting stats around it. And Mm. Henry Davis, hopefully last year was not real. Let's find the ceiling. We got three studs. And you know what? Maybe we should put some respect on Ryan Jeffers' name. I think we should. Maybe that's where we're wrong. Uh Gabby Moreno, Francisco Alvarez, Yiner Diaz. Is it Yainer? Yiner. Yiner, right? Yiner. And Ryan Jeffers, look at the stats. Let's find out. Look at the stats, Let's guys. find the ceiling on this guy. Set it and forget it. Salvi, uh, Wilson Contreras, Jonah Heim, the Blue Jays catching duo. <laughs> Sneaky crushes it. Yeah, it's crazy. My catcher. We're fighting in the comments. Cal Rally. Oh. For your Seattle Mariners and JT Real Muto kind of was the best to do it, falling a little bit. Cal mm. Raleigh, awesome, but I think he's a tier below who we currently have in the S tier. Will Smith in the middle of that Dodgers lineup every year doing his thing. William Contreras in the middle of that Brewers lineup and the catching numbers ticked up. Adley Rushman, the guy, uh, the resurgence of the Orioles, but his numbers are Eerily in range of all these other guys. And then Sean Murphy, uh, who was awesome last year. He's Mm. been awesome, but he was a little hidden in Oakland. And I think he had like one down year. Yeah, his 2021 was a down year. Uh, Everything else has been pretty pretty dang good. Um, Is there a final shuffle? 
I mean, were we going to move an S tier down? I like where we landed. Uh, I know I said before S tier feels crowded, but like I've been thinking about who to bump, and I don't, I don't want to bump any of them. I, I will say who them. I would be choosing between. It's Will Smith. I, and will someone. Smith is the one that has the hole. Yeah, uh, his defense is just the but worst. Feels, of the crew. It feels. I just William Contreras. I I just like being in start Twitter fight for you. I, I can't but, put Contreras anywhere lower than the top. He was so good. But he's so year. good. I think that's why he would be starting. He's so a good, fight. and he's a kid. Will Smith in the middle of that lineup that needs to be respected. Same I think with they stay. Same with Adley. I think it's I like good. Them there. I have one, and it's not the S tier thing. I think I w- I uh, undersold Wilson Contreras a little bit. You think so? I think Cardinals fans fight for him a little bit because they're like, no, I I know you saw the shit in April, but like. Look where he landed at the end of the year. Like, he's good. Like, he's our catcher. Like, he was worth the money. Are they starting Twitter beef for Wilson Contreras? Three and a half war last year. His last two years has been 125 OPS And, like, plus. he's better than Salvi. He's better than Haim. He ends up playing 89 starts at catcher, 30 at DH. His bat's so valuable. They put him out there over half the season. Jonah Heim becomes a tricky combo there. Uh-huh. Heim is who I'd bump up before, I think. Contreras has been doing it longer than Heim, though. Like, much longer. It's true. I agree. I guess I don't know if you can fight Wilson Contreras for the best catcher, and I don't know if Cardinals fans would do that, especially after last year and how weird it got just at the start. They watched Yachty for that long. Like, they see the holes there. Sound off in the comments. What did we screw up? What did you like? What did you hate? Probably mostly that Jorge Polanco trade recap in the middle. (laughs) Thank you to Jolly Olive as we sorted through the catcher dilemma. King BBD. We'll see you guys next week. Super Bowl week. Oh, my God. Big signing? Maybe. Subscribe.